All right, this is Sports Extra. We are still cruising. We're still moving on and on. Yes, I told you about boxing in Nigeria and how it really made a of us uh, really proud of last time out with Anthony Joshua making it count, reclaiming his belt in Saudi Arabia against uh, Andy Ruiz. But again, the problem has been that Nigerian boxing, Nigerian boxers, and the sport of boxing in Nigeria domestically has been in need of help. Not a lot of uh, uh, things there for the boxers to actually look up to and uh, strive to be the best in the world. Maybe the environment is not just right, uh, the atmosphere is not right as well, but we have uh, two boxers in the studios with us uh, right now who are uh, thoroughbred Nigerian boxers who started uh, their thing right from Nigeria and we are talking about uh, two gentlemen who are also uh, going to be uh, gunning for the skies, going for the limits as far as boxing is concerned in the global space. I have uh, with me, uh, first and foremost, uh, in my immediate uh, left is uh, King Davidson. King Davidson is a former Olympian, represented Nigeria at the Olympics in 2004. He is also a former uh, champion of the world. Uh, he's, now he's trying to move to another weight category. King Davidson will tell us all about that himself. Well, King, it's good to have you in the studio. Our pleasure, Thank yes, you. It's good to have you. Really good. good. We, 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 we can see that you, you are really um, looking like a very a very happy boxer, a very good boxer, one that actually should be uh, doing wonderful things. Now, the, tell us, uh, first and foremost, how do you uh, see boxing in Nigeria opportunities uh, for young boxers? Well, um, first of all, I want to say um, it's a privilege to be here, and um, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come here and um, talk to people about who we are, introduce ourselves, and make our, ourselves known to people. Um, my name is Akim Davison. I am a Nigerian and um, I live in Australia and I've represented Nigeria in so many competitions like the Commonwealth, Olympics, uh, World Championships and um, um, boxing has always been my dream, boxing has always been what I love doing and um, I haven't stopped up to now and uh, I'm happy where I am today. All right, it's really good to know that you're happy where uh, you ha I also have uh, someone who is uh, happy as, as far as uh, what he's doing is concerned. And this is another Nigerian boxer who has uh, taken it from the very uh, low level grassroots in Nigeria to the uh, top level where he is now a uh, world champion as well. We're talking here about uh, Tyson Kill, they call him, uh, Suleiman Olagbade is uh, here with us. Uh, uh, Suleiman Tyson Kill, it's good to have you join us as well. It's a pleasure, thank you so much. All right, you must be actually looking at uh, uh, boxing in another light now that you are the WBU champion. But uh, first and foremost, tell us, what are the impediments for boxers in Nigeria, those who want to strive, aspire to be world champions like you are now and then of course Anthony Joshua who is all out there. Pleasure to be here first and foremost. I'm just to introduce myself once again. I'm a Lamont Lagbade K thousand K. Yeah, I'm a police officer as you know. Yeah, I have job because of my promotion right now. I'm, I'm now a super. Right. Yeah, so I have, to I have to thank my Australian General Police for that. Yeah, that, that, that that's quite <laughs> instructive. It's quite instructive to know that uh, the police force, uh, apart from uh, what a lot of Nigerians uh, think of the police, uh, uh, some negative uh, publicity about the police, but we have to say that the police force has done so well yeah. uh, positively yeah. in uh, projecting Nigeria's image. We know how. Uh, Chioma Ajumwa came from the police, yeah. uh, the late Sunday Bada, but back to the Jonathan in boxing yeah. uh, has been there. Samuel the police, Peter. Uh, yes, Samuel Peter, as a matter yeah. of fact. Larry, Drodola. <laughs> All right, yeah. you, 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 you have them. Okay, but uh, th th there's a problem of uh, support for boxers, especially those in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, the problem of trying to get to the top, and it is not always there for them, talking about opportunities. What do you think can be done to make sure that Nigerian boxers, those in Nigeria, can actually have the same opportunities to get to the top like others who are abroad? For instance, Davidson is staying in Australia now. Yeah. You see, what happens is that when you are talking about opportunity in boxing, it is not that easy. 
you see uh, a boxer if you want to, if, if you want to get to a level of someone like Atone Joshua Samuel Peter Baba Tony Jonathan and so on and so forth you see you need to you need to push yourself before anything just like my manager my promoter Priscilla Williams you know he discovered me in political leakage when I was fighting I was I was he might the best boxer of that very night, you understand? So what, what really happened is that if I, if I shouldn't put my efforts, you understand, in that fight, you know, Prince Arunia will just come there, watch the fight, and left. I even also wanted to pick any boxer in that, in that police college, in that order for any day. It, can, it cannot be me. But just because I put all my efforts, you understand, I was he might the best boxer of the night. So that's where he discovered me. I think you understand. So you have to put your effort and let people I see you that oh this guy is trying. Then anybody, any help you know can come from anywhere. Then you be elevated. Okay, so. okay. It has to do with uh, somebody actually coming to see you and give you that lift. Uh, you talk about uh, uh, the promoter who you are now fighting under. Uh, he's uh, um, Stanley Williams. Yes, Stanley Williams. Stanley Williams. Yeah. Okay, <coughs> and that means uh, a lot of boxers can also uh, do with uh, somebody like Stanley Williams, uh, seeing them and giving them the hit. Now, uh, Davidson, let me come to you. Um, when you were in Nigeria, yeah, right? When you were in Nigeria before you moved to Australia, yeah. Can you compare uh, your level of uh, improvement, the, the, your, your, your quality as a boxer when you were in Nigeria and now that you are in Australia? Well, the thing is that, um, there are two different things in boxing. There are amateur and there are professionals. Um, I was an amateur. I was a, a very good and a great amateur when I was representing Nigeria. And um, the two different things is I was representing Nigeria as an amateur in the Olympics, in the World Championship, in the Commonwealth Games, in the All African Games, which have always represented Nigeria really well and always bring the medals home. So when I moved out to Australia, I began to, I just choose to turn a professional, turn, be, fall into professional categories so that I could make something better out of my life and um, make, start making good money from boxing. And um, everything I planned worked according to how I wanted to work to the glory of God. But the thing is, uh, Nigerians, boxing is boxing used to be one of the top sports here in Nigeria before, but because of the publicity and the encouragement and um, um, the people handling it, they're supposed to, the young ones need to have the opportunity and the privilege to go out there and train, have good facilities to train with, and um, without good facilities, um, it's not going to be easy for them to get to the top. So that's why I switch when I, I got to Australia, I switch off, and then I just have to make my way and uh, turn professional so that I could have the right equipment to be able to make my dream come true. And um, these are the two differences between we don't have the facilities in this country to make that dream come true. So if Nigerians, um, the government, the, could provide facilities for the youth, for the younger ones, we have a lot of superstars. And um, if we have all these talents, all these boys around, hanging around, boxing, good boxers, everywhere, but if they don't have the right facilities, it's not going to be possible. So that's why most of us prefer to train overseas, um, because when you train overseas, there are a lot of advantages on it, and um, with that, your dreams will come true. All right, so, so we have to also <coughs> ask you, uh, guys, uh, Tyson Keel, uh, let's uh, start with you. Uh, you are the... Uh, champion, the World Boxing uh, Union, yeah. WBO uh, champion, yeah. and then uh, of course the uh, West African uh, Union champion uh, again. And then uh, you must be looking forward to uh, taking it from that level. W what's uh, up next uh, for you as far as uh, 2020 is concerned? Uh, thank you so much. You know, um, my th thanks to Goromach and thanks to Prester Lunes, my primary, my major, my promoter. You know, by February, we'll be having a show in Atlanta, USA. Understand? We'll be having a me and King Davis in here. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, that's we are, going, yeah, we are going to USA in Atlanta. You understand? We are fighting the WBC, World Boxing Council, direct. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's the first plan for this year. And again, we still have a show in Ghana by April. You understand? But the one in Atlanta, that one is paramount. So we are okay. going by February. Okay. And we are taking the back the, the back to Nigeria, that WBC. 
the what BBC belt. Okay, yeah. yes, uh, you're talking about uh, uh, the American uh, market, the American environment is always uh, the mecca uh, uh, yes, uh, of boxing. Uh, if you have not uh, really broken into that uh, uh, <laughs> part of the uh, boxing, you've not really started. So you guys are going to be uh, making it there. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, Davidson, you also uh, talked about uh, uh, opportunities. And how big would this opportunity be for you, uh, the fight coming in Atlanta? Well, one thing is, <coughs> if you come into boxing and with the right promoter and the right management and the right team, everything will fall in place. It's all about having a proper structure and uh, having a proper game plan yeah. and uh, have the right promoters around you, have the right management around you. When you have a good team and a, a strong team that backs you up, everything is possible. Right now, we are privileged and happy that we are under um, Prince Stanley Williams of Monarch, Inve uh, Monarch Promotion and Empire. We are so blessed that we are uh, we signed up under him. And um, we had our last show in England. And um, it was a great show, and we all came out victoriously. And it hasn't been easy, you know. But And the last fight was cancelled in Ghana, postponed. Not cancelled, but postponed to April 11th. So, which we're looking forward for a big fight yeah. and a great card. But first of all, we get the first one, which is in uh, February in America, in Atlanta. I will get it out of the way, and then we'll start thinking about the April 1, April 11 in Ghana. So, right now, we're all hyped up, and we're all getting ready and getting ourselves prepared mentally and physically, and uh, because we'll have the right people around us that are pushing us to the limit, and we believe by the grace of everything will fall in place. All right, by the grace of God, it will surely fall in, pla in place there. Uh, from the uh, conversation, from the interaction with you, I kind of discovered that uh, uh, for you to also make it at the highest level in boxing, you need uh, uh, that uh, bit of a push uh, from uh, a promoter, a manager. Uh, uh, well, we've always known, the world has known uh, great uh, promoters like Don King and uh, uh, just people like that, and then of course uh, it, it does appear that in Nigeria we lack this uh, uh, sort of people who can actually come in and make uh, that breakthrough happen for the boxers. Talking about uh, quality promoters, those who really know the politics of boxing. Well, the thing is, we have um, uh, you know, boxing is all about if you have a, a good promoter but he doesn't have money to push you to the limit, so you're gonna like start and break down on the road. But we have a great promoter, Prince Tali Williams of Monarch Invent and Promotion. He has the capital, he has everything right, he has the right people that he talks to, he has the right uh, form of it, and uh, I believe with that proper structure, we'll get to where we're going. Okay, uh, Tyson Kiel, let's uh, talk about you now. Of course, uh, we saw one of the events uh, that uh, you participated in, uh, one of the fights that you, you fought uh, sometime uh, last year or Mardi that about, yes, uh, okay. uh, somewhere in Ota. Ota yeah, and Mardi that was Ota. a very, very uh, good atmosphere that we saw there in the serene environment of Ota, yeah. and uh, it was against uh, a Ghanaian a boxer. But let's, let's go and take a look at that uh, uh, clip. Uh, uh, Suleiman, Suleiman Olabade against uh, a Ghanaian boxer. He took just uh, one minute or there about less than a minute to actually knock him down and we'll come back and talk about it. <laughs>
is a Suleiman Olagbade vintage. He is a knockout specialist, and he just uh, dismissed that Ghanaian boxer before everyone could settle on the seat. And now you look at that uh, uh, kind of uh, delivery that you gave. Uh, uh, wh what do you really think uh, is uh, uh, your strong uh, point in boxing, and how are you able to stay that fit? Is it all about uh, the fact that you have uh, uh, manager who is making it happen because you are here in Nigeria and you're knocking uh, people out that way. Oh, thank you so much. It's a very good question. You see, um, you have to plan ahead any fight. You know, someone like me, I train very well. You understand? It's not a matter of having a good manager. You understand? Before I know my manager, I'll be training like this. I'll be knocking people out. You understand? So now I'm now seeing a manager. You understand? They're ready to take me to, uh, to the higher level. So I, I, you know, as, you know, I just have to push myself up again, but that's not to be to, uh, to, to be in a world rating. That's why every of my training, if, I'm, if, my, if I used to, if I used to, before maybe I used to spend like two hours in my training, I have to step up again to, you know, to make it like something like four or five hours, because I want, I want to meet up with people like uh, Manny Pacquiao, you see, uh, Aaron Spence, you understand, Crawford, I think you understand. So, and I'm happy that my manager is trying his best. To push, to push me up, you understand? So I use one of the best gym in Ota to train. I use one of the best gym. So that's it. I'm a knockout specialist, and I believe in my training. I believe in my hard work, and I believe in God. I believe in my promoter. And you want to uh, assure us that uh, when you go to the fights in Atlanta and the one coming up in Ghana, it will be a knockout as well? I'm, I'm, I'm knocking anyone out there. <laughs> I'm the best in the world. Oh, yeah, right. I'm the best in the world's power to it. Okay. I fear no one. I fear nobody. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Davidson, let's uh, come to you. Um, you have been a, a little bit reserved in the way you're talking about yourself. Uh, what should Nigerians expect from you eventually when uh, you, you get to, to those uh, uh, fights that are um, upcoming in Atlanta and Ghana as well? Well, the thing is, um, I'm a man of small words. And um, I do most of my talking when it comes to the, when I, I jump in the ring. I'm, um, I'm a good finisher, and um, when I get into the ring, just do not blink your eyes because anything can happen at any time. So I don't plan for the knockout, but when it comes, it comes. <laughs> Some people are naturally built to knock people out like him. He's very strong. <laughs> he knows he's going to the kill ball. I'm a good finisher. When I hurt you, I jump on you. I know the game will be over. So <laughs> do not blink. Right. Anything can happen. <laughs> it will be quite interesting to see uh, these uh, two uh, pugilists, these two Nigerian boxers. It will be quite interesting to see them do their thing on the ring and we'll try as much as possible to keep tabs on their development as far as those uh, two fights in Atlanta and Ghana are concerned. All right. I want to say it has been a real pleasure having you uh, with us uh, right here. Of course, uh, uh, super well Tawit champion, WB, your World Boxing Union champion, yeah. uh, that's Soleiman Olagbadi, they call him Tyson Kill, and of course a uh, World Boxing uh, Union middleweight uh, uh, champion as well, uh, uh, Davidson King, uh, who has also uh, been here. It's Gentlemen, to be here. we want to uh, really thank you so very thank much, you and so then much. Yeah, we'll be so happy much. to have you again when next we call on you, maybe probably yes. after you must have gone to Atlanta yeah. and done Nigeria proud in those fights, all right? And that has been uh, our take as far as the interview segment is concerned on Sports Extra for today. Uh, Tyson King, uh, Soleiman Olagbade, and uh, Davidson uh, uh, King, uh, who